I'm back, but uh, it might take 10 years for everyone to find the stream. So I hope you all are having a good one. Stream up time was like, uh, again, like an hour in, so we're just getting to these requests. It's a weekend, uh, not too much going on. Bitcoin's selling awesome, okay. Like, that. oh my, I'm so surprised, dude, right? Hit and exceeded the first target of the trade setup, and now it's pulling back. We had about 1,500 people, 1,450 watching. And now we have 167. Nice. Nice. Let me uh, repost it. Just for people that couldn't find it. There you go, Julia. Boom. Get wrecked. I win. No, this is the old stream, dude. It's all a figment of your imagination. Okay, so uh, just back to GGAL. Very deep retrace. I mean, like from this low, 90 plus percent. Let's look at the, the, the first low, like the lowest low of all time. How's that going? See, 88886. So you can say certain value no matter what anchor point you use. Okay, value areas. So the weekly, pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, definitely some divergence like locally i like how you had this big dump and uh and you had like tons of negative memo then you sold off to make a slightly lower low it was diverging it played out it sold off and now you're making the second low a confirmation low with the same amount of negative memo so it's like class c like it was class a bullish divergence turning into class c divergence which i think is great if you get above 922 which i think that's what it's butting up against look this high that was created in 2004 I think getting really above that, you could see 1846. Yeah, I mean, you could legit eventually like double up from these levels if this plays out. I really like that uh, little higher low pivot on the daily four hour. It's pretty nice. So this is definitely one to watch. My God, we're getting some good requests today. After a lot of uh, days where you don't get many requests at all that are good, they're normally just moon boy requests this is a pretty freaking good one so you see that that's it and these two peaks correlated to this first peak so you get above that probably that zone between 17 23 and 1846 that will be the target there all right pretty easy to manage risk in this situation right uh down one percent on friday so it's not mooning you could do this I mean, you could actually have a stop below this like mini wick on the weekly and that's your first target right up there. That's like 4.32 to 1 order risk. That could take a while. But uh, you got to like a lot that uh, RSI divergence on the weekly. That's the weekly. It's not a joke. When sellers are exhausted on the weekly time scale, the uh, reversals can be much more significant that, that last and, and actually play out to much higher prices. So that, that's an easy way to size up GGAL. All right. You know, stop there. I don't think at this point, I don't think there's a point of having stop loss below the double bottom because you're playing the confirmation low. That is what the second bottom is. So if it's already showed itself as a confirmation low, uh, probably not going to make a triple bottom here, especially after on the daily. You just did this. You just made this higher low pivot point, right? That's clear. That's a higher low. What's up, Calvin, dude? Spend for Julia. All right, we'll spend for Julia. There you go. I don't think it's a normal time to be drinking, right? Sorry, you get wrecked. You must drink, Calvin. Sorry. Okay, so stop below the previous local low. Very clear on the daily. That's it. That's that's literally it, man. I mean, you got one target. 
1723, 1846. I mean, after that, if it ever broke that, holy crap, dude. Look out on GGAL where it would go after that. I would think uh, right here, this peak from March of 2015, that would be your next target. Easy. So do it. Right there. That'd be one and two. Just like that. That's how we could size up GGAL in this situation, okay? Stop below the previous low. All right. See how it plays out, man. This is something publication worthy, right? That's three now. Three, dude. Uh, no, I cannot. I have no idea what that is. Sounds like a, just a random beanie baby that was just created or something, right? All right, good stuff on GGL. Sorry, I don't care who you are. I like on the daily. So you had like technically, hey, great example here for Robin talking about hidden divergence, class B hidden bullish divergence. Look, where you make a low on price, you make the same low on price, you make lower levels. Of relative strength and oversold territory that's even that's the best so that's impending price action continuation of the upside you got it testing the resistance you sold off after you hit that you knew that'd be where sell orders would be you sold off only to make a higher low so what accumulations going on at these levels interesting and the weekly was showing hidden or classic bullish divergence so very good stuff here not a joke So let's see. Watching the stream for two years now. Went to make heroin coffee and you had gone. But in all that time, I've never seen the space invades intro slash ending. Very slick. Just like your production nowadays, Mitch. Keep it up. Wow, thank you, Unemployed Baker, for the five. Hey, that's kind of older, but um, yeah. I mean, right, it would. I'd be remiss if I didn't try to make things better for the viewers right over time so thank you cheers thanks for uh just washing all over the years man so this right here to me looks like more downside i don't know if i'd be wanting to mess with this until 20 bucks or 11 bucks right those those will be best right why because from your previous low to high ah man 78 percent reach your double bottom to 76 that's pretty interesting pretty interesting man Hold on, let's see here. Seven, eight, six. It's gonna be gonna be a weird looking harmonic then. Too deep. Two date, uh, 68, 69%, it's no man's land. It can't be anything technically at this point, unfortunately. But yeah, dude, at a 70% retrace, nevertheless, that's one bottom, a second bottom. Bullish, definitely bullish divergence on the weekly, right? Like big time, but it's playing out, it's played out. It played out and, and it's not making higher highs yet. So, I mean, pretty easy. You don't want anything to do with it below 24 or 56. But if, if it falls below 24 or 56, it could easily come down to 20 bucks. And that could be an area where one could enter. I think that's an 88% retrace. 886 is 1782. So that would be, 
yeah, down here, it's either 11 bucks or 20 bucks would be better. But yeah, I mean, I can definitely see why you would request it because you're showing like a potential double bottom at kind of a weird spot in no man's land. This double bottom's painted, right? But you got one here and another. The combination with this and this is can be really good. But as you can see, you know, bullish engulfing and then the past three weeks just been bleeding out. So if someone was playing that bullish engulfing candle, just like we played Bitcoin's four hour engulfing, like just having a stop below the engulfing candle because it's invalidated. So it's 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 interesting, but it may not be the best, right? Because we know the downside could be amazing down there for a long. But there is value here. Okay, so you just have to size it up and enter this one at your own risk. Okay. I like 20 bucks, but it may never get there because one bottom, two bottoms. Okay, that's uh, ESPR. Pretty interesting chart. Anyway, moving on. Wow, dude. Wow. Big weekly double top going on, maybe. Here's lows. Triple uh, triple MACD bearish divergence going on right now on the second high. Never do you really want to be showing buyer exhaustion on a second top, right? Which is very real on the weekly. Look at this. This is textbook bearish divergence. One high, a second high, and then a third high. Rule of three, right? So you're, you're approaching 180. That's all-time highs. And you got this going on. It's not low risk and it's not, uh, right, you're not trading based on any bullish indicator. This was the area. It was kind of like uh, Home Depot in, in its own way, right? Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at the histogram here. One, two, little three, kind of, right there. I like how you sprung. You kind of back tested the spring before you ran. So this is implying downside soon. That's that's it. If you ever break 180, hey, it's gonna go insane probably. But um, until like the daily's indicating like the bearish divergence soon will start playing out. One, two, three. It's about to go negative again. So if it's about to play out, that, that would make sense at these levels, right? For it to sell off. Maybe it makes another higher low or something, and then it's pathetic, and then rallies again, and then breaks 180. So if it broke 180, pretty easy to target high to low. I mean, your target's 189.95, and then 200 dollars, 200. But let's see how. Let's see if this plays out. Let's go the weekly again. Or I mean, yeah, you got to be kind of careful because if you just think about it, you know, you're in your second high. At any point, if the bearish divergence on the daily starts playing out, they it could then start ushering in bearish divergence on the weekly. So you just got to be mindful of that. Not a really at a value area at all. You're kind of, you could be double topping, but if you do break 180, you got targets anyway. But all right, let's lose. LBT, yeah, we gotta look at it. It's too pretty, man. Here it is. That was it, dude. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's like literally a fairy tale. It was a fairy tale trade. All right, so posted February 11th. Yes, this is a trade setup. This is a trade setup that was posted February 11th. Okay. Why? Because it had everything. Everything, dude. 78% to retrace from the previous low, a continuation harmonic, a falling wedge, a double bottom, bullish divergence on both oscillators. That's it. That's it. Entry was literally when it was posted, stop loss below the second or the double bottom, right? That's it. Can you have a look at Express Tigger XPR? 
Control sure, screens, thank you. Maybe. Yeah, XPR is like flagging. It's off the low. It's been taking its long, sweet time, but yeah, eventually I think it's going to be the top of the range. XPR. Uh, so there you go. Watch. Boom. First target. Hit today. And you still got targets. You got uh, 108 and you got 124.5. If it's, you know, sell off, whatever, pull back and then rally again. Hit targets and then probably go stupid to even higher levels because it's this market, all right? So that's what you want, man. That was textbook. It was beautiful. Jesus Chance for ALBT. All right. Perfect. All right, back up in the six scale Bitcoin for now. All right, dude. We'll go. Okay, next one. Oh man, Saturday. I thought it was going to be a chill stream. I thought it was going to be a short and sweet, no request stream, but it ended up being different. Oh man, what a fake out. Well, it wasn't even fake out. It was like, it was. It was like a false breakout and look how it sold off. So it's okay though. It's not dead. It's not over for Boston properties. If it ends up making a higher low than the previous low, you understand that hidden bullish divergence is now happening. From the low, look at this. So impending price action continuation, the upside's happening, occurring, being implied. So you catch a higher low here. Yeah, I think it could eventually run to, you know, 105. Yeah, it's uh, really the 107 to 105. Right up there, that, that's where it's headed probably if you can catch some bids here, make the higher low, all right? So yes, unfortunately, False breakouts happen all the time. But normally for us, we're trying to get in at levels where you're double bottoming. You make the divergence on the second low. Hey, 200 moving average, that's uh, bonus points. So it runs up, it fails to break out, pulls back, no stop out, nothing to worry about till it falls below $88. Then it can run again, right? Kind of reminds me of GAN a little bit, uh, at least locally, not the harmonic, but just kind of the range, the rectangle. And it couldn't break on that third time, pulled back, then made a higher low, then broke out and went nuts. So I think this is still okay. What's up, CPT, man? Thanks, dude. Cheers. Happy Saturday. No TTS, just saying thanks. Thank you, dude. That's a, that's a, uh, certainly a Hype in the contribution. Noise, noise. If CCL breaks up good measured move. Yep. Uh, airline companies, cruise line companies, all looking interesting. Yep. Boston properties, 105. If you pivot here and this plays out hidden divergence. Okay. Still safe. We looked at this yesterday. Just yesterday. I thought we did. What the heck? So you want to look at Dentacoin again? Well, I mean, same thing. It's like great. It's it could run again. Hasn't made a higher high yet. It's had, it hadn't seen negative momentum on the daily since January 28th, so like three weeks. I mean, whatever. You could try to say it's range bound between 1.1 cents and 1.7 cents. Could you take a look at Trit? Thanks. What's up, uh, CA Funk? Yeah, we're going to look at uh, that. Add to the list. So you're near the top of it. Uh, I, I really don't. Um, not a low risk area. It hasn't broken out. It, it could, is, if it makes a higher low than 1.2 cents, then it'll probably run up to test 1.7 cents and then break it. 
test 1.99 cents and then go and continue on, right? But if Bitcoin dumps, you know where this is going. It's probably going right back down to 1.1 cents. And then if it breaks that, there's very little support. You better look out. You better be careful. Let's go all the way down to 8.2. Oh my God, this isn't even one cents. I'm sorry. It's one one hundredth of a cent. God, it's so worthless. It could go down to eight one thousandths of a cent or something All right, whatever okay so looks like a lot of the other ones that pumped like maker looks like comp looks like uh, kind of lind they're all just going sideways after big marks up all right that's it no not a value it's nothing like these those three ones we saw the stock requests right you can't find an s coin that's showing nice value right now i i scan like all my watch lists really tough to find stuff that's that sticks out that's amazing right now it's just tough like the only thing you can do is like momentum continuation traits not big value wow sorry had to do that How y'all doing? Everyone doing okay on this Saturday? B chain, yeah, if you want to update on it, sure. Dude, it's like, obviously it's like scam wig stuff, right? It's obviously not dead. It just couldn't, I mean, when Bitcoin sells off, these altcoins sell off to bearish and golden candle, but yet still inside the structure, right? Traders never set it up out of it, so really tough to, um, I mean, really, the the way to. I mean, I thought that was swing low, kinda, and but I mean, really, the stop loss below four point seven cents would be the safest. Below five cents too, it went down to test five cents. It's I think anything above five cents on V chains bullish. Anything below it it's starting to get bearish. Okay, if we're talking about this pattern, five cents is your your breaking point. Look how you back tested it. A few days ago, same thing again. That's it, VeChain. Yeah, it holds this, holds five cents long enough. Bitcoin doesn't crash, and the trend is able to continue without a correction. Yeah, you're talking like 6.5 cents, 7.1 cents areas up here. Those are targets. So it's not dead. Yeah, maybe a scam wick, stop loss, whatever. But uh, above five cents, you're good. Below it, that's where the cutoff could be. All right. Okay, next one, next request. I believe. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know really. There's no structure here, right? It had a pump and dump. Probably, I mean, this looks like Wall Street bets got their hands on this. Hey, maybe at 184. When it gets to 184, It'd be doing a couple things. At 184, it'd be testing an ice line from August 2019. At the same time, it'd be filling a gap from uh, January 21st. Okay, that's it. So and, and until then, uh, what am I supposed to do? All right? There's no structure. Yeah, I mean, the one good thing it's got going for it is it's just losing all that negative momentum, and then soon could go positive and you get a rally. If it did rally any time, you'd, you'd have a target of a gap fill around 496. But uh, again, like you probably want to wait. It'd be prudent, I think, to wait until 184 for a backtest gap fill combination. And that could be an area where it reverses to the upsides. It'd be far more strategic than now, just randomly going long at 236. Okay, it's actually kind of, it really is below like that high from April 15th. Maybe if you get back above that, 
And then we could talk. That's a... It's poor resistance. So yeah, the, the hidden divergence could play out any time, but you think 194 would be strategic. More strategic would be better. Mr. Singh. Yeah, dude. Yep, airline companies, cruise line companies. You know it, man. Yep, I love it, man. Up 7.43%. Uh, hitting that uh, 382 again. Oh, yeah, man. The way this looks, looks like it's going to break 382 soon. See, $30. Why 30? Look, look. $30, dude. Go, go all the way back to the ice line, September of 2011. Look, the peak from May of 2009. Look, the valley from 2008. The peak from 2002. The peak from May of 2000. That is the target on CCL right now, okay? That's where it's headed probably. I think it's really high probability that's going there uh, based on the consecutive higher lows. Oh, yeah, man. Book it almost on CCL going to 30 bucks, 29.68, 28.51 to 29. That's the zone. If I ever broke that, whoa, whoa! If it breaks that, you're probably going to 40 dollars. Look at the history, straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. Eventually, straight up, straight down. Right? I mean, there's chop in between, but that's you can clearly see. Look, straight down, straight up, straight down. Yeah, there's a little chop in there. I mean, definitely look straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. That's your target if you ever break 29.68 is $40. Simple. Yep, American Airlines too. Are they all they Boeing, they're looking good, man. They're on the up and up. It's like it's almost like the sentiment of the market recovery of these assets, these industries, these sectors, whatever. Ask how you get started with 15k. I mean, you're late to the party for a long it makes any sense there's no value um, I would take some of that invest in yourself learn how to read charts buy books like trading in the zone I think that's the first thing you should do with any money you own you have is exchange that money for trading in the zone by Mark Dulles trades about to happen David Weiss evolution of a trader Thomas Bulkowski uh, I mean you, you could join the patreon I think you would accelerate your learning uh, being a part of our community and being around it in the discord you would learn a lot uh, while you're on your journey of learning like everything by yourself you're, you're learning it you also have so many resources in our patreon discord to again it just would uh, accelerate your learning so well than that i mean trying to you know i'm never going to tell someone what to do with fifteen thousand dollars especially when bitcoin's at fifty six thousand dollars what do you want from me right i mean there was a trade setup uh, posted like four days ago that was hey if you know how to set up a stop loss okay but i i'm not going to be giving trade setups to like you know say i have like a friend or in real life a close friend and he's like T tell me what to do on bitcoin i'm not going to send him the trade setup you know why because he's going to buy he would buy at that entry and he would never set up a stop loss because he probably has no idea how to do it I, I can't tell people i can't tell normies that don't have actual accounts I'm not going to ever give them trade setups because they will get wrecked if the trades go the trade goes south and fails like trades fail all the time like that's part and parcel of trading like we we know that but if you don't have a stop loss set up and you're just going to take a long then no you shouldn't be entering then anyway so uh and that's like so i almost treat you like someone that i know that doesn't really trade that's new or whatever if you're not going to have a stop loss set up on these there's no point.
Sorry, hold on. What was the next one? All right, Travis Tritt. Yeah, man. I mean, this one's like, uh, remember, seven, eight, six, eight, twenty-six. Yeah, dude. As long, I think as long as you make a higher low, I mean, you really don't want to. You were above like the resistance. It was good, and then you sell off. It, as long as it makes a higher low than seven fifty, it's just another higher low, and it's it's like inverse head and shoulders, right? Look left shoulder, head right shoulder. The neckline's eight twenty seven. You haven't broken out yet. So any sell off, anything above seven fifty is safe on T R I T for a lot more upside. That's it. That's that's it. That's that simple. If it pivots, makes, making higher low than 750, then you're talking like right from that. I'm saying that's the neckline because look, I mean that's the, the low point. That's where traders set it up. Okay, it's and then and you're just targeting like this. Okay, that's so everything's good on trit still, no problems until a lower low than that. All right, okay. Just imagine, flip this thing over. It's terrible, it's scary. It's like whoa, dude. that's that's it man uh we got through all the requests that met the minimum criteria for the request to happen so this is fine still no problem going back to uh, bitcoin here nothing burger heck man it could come down to test fifty-three thousand eight hundred eventually and it would still be okay testing a demand line I mean, there's no bearish divergence at all. It's just a pullback. And you know, Michael Saylor's just auto buying Bitcoin. His bot's just churning out purchases of Bitcoin everywhere. So let's see how the Saylor bot plays out. Okay, one target of the trade setup has been hit on Bitcoin. We got more to go, right? It's not over. It's not over, chat. Right, here you go. There it is. All right, so we're just waiting on 60K and 65K pretty much. I don't care what happens. Like, So one trading this for real, that's taking a little off the table of the trade from the entry. Not your whole position. I'm just talking about the shorter term stuff. And then, hey, it sells off and back tests old areas as support. Pull, you know, you take a few days of consolidation sideways action before it runs eventually to 60k and then do the same thing profit taking it sells off and then goes to 65k after that so i think uh, all is well for now i'm not worried about it you shouldn't either just relax it's saturday uh please read the description below if you want requests Anyway, um, so we're good, man. Thanks to the 1,000 people that found me again. Uh, this is just the stream got stream elements went nuts, and yeah, I had to restart the stream. So, so we're good, man. Request out of the way. So technically, I've been live for like an hour and 40 minutes now. So we're good. We're good, man. Remember, if you're a patron watching the stream and you don't understand, I don't know how you don't know because of how many times I've said it and we try to articulate it. But trade setups, chart publications are 
as valid as the Patreon trade setup. Please understand why Patreon trade setup exists is because we used to do, we used to be more active on Patreon. We're not anymore. Everything's been streamlined to Discord. And it's much easier and quicker for me to churn out trade setups in chart publications than it is going through the, the, the process we do for the Patreon trade setups. They're the same thing, man. It's only your own, I, I don't know, it's only your own mind trying to make them think, seem different. They're the same thing, okay? So you wanna make sure you set up your notifications, make sure they're on for chart publications, patrons, okay? I just, I have to reiterate it because you, no matter how many times we say it, there's always someone always coming in being like no trade setups no trade setups so these are you're wrong you're wrong All right. So good stream. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, I mean, if something insane happened, I'll, I'd try to go live. I don't think anything insane is going to happen. I think we just might continue going sideways, whatever. We're in the trade. We're in a trade on Bitcoin. It's active. A little profit's been taken. Just a little bit shaved off. Just in case, right? That's the top. Because we don't know. That's why you, you layer out of trades. Because you don't know if the top's in. What if this is the top? And what if it dumps violently to much lower prices? At least you took a little profit, right? That's it. No, no, oh my bad. That no it's for anything now, man. It's Can for everything. Lose. Thanks, dude. Oh, uh, yeah, we can uh, we look at it before I get out of here. Yep, I'm trying to get really hungry. Fuel cell. Well, I mean, it hit all the hit the gap fills. It hit the resistance. Look, where people would have sell orders, the price reversed. I'm so surprised. Right now, there's no edge. You're just dumping. You've dumped, and um, the the sell off could continue. You understand? Uh, oh, I guess there is kind of like a support right here. There are a couple supports. 2016, 22, 17, 87. You haven't even tested them yet. I think you would test them first. Uh, but, you know, these levels, man, that's straight line up. That's like asking about an S coin. Same thing here. There's just, there was a time and place to be requesting this, and it was down here uh, when you were just showing accumulation, right? Higher lows after a big drawdown, uh, being above the 200 day moving average again, holding. I think on the four hour, there's probably a, a gorgeous inverse head and shoulders pattern right there. You can just see it, eyeball it. I mean, th those were the times to be requesting FCL. At this point, it's like, I I want a lot more data before I give a crap about this one again. This is a straight line up. Now it's going down. It could pivot here, make a higher low, and then run to attempt to rally, end up double topping or whatatever. So yeah, it, it could have, it's X, A, B, C, D stuff, right? It's X to A, and you're now beginning uh, A to B, that wave. And then you could have one more short-term wave that makes a, a lower high double top or a slightly higher high before the major wave down to create a harmonic or something eventually. So it's just not, not much I can really do here. Okay, sorry. But yeah, maybe a bounce, hidden divergence develops at 1622 to 1787. Yeah, it could, could happen, yeah. All right. So here's your, uh, here's your big one on the daily again, where we just had a, a completely an indecision candle, nothing. So here's the thing about it. we engulfed two days ago, indecision. What if you engulf again? That could happen. You're overbought, but you're not exhausted. Buyers are not exhausted right now. And it's only after hitting that 100% measure move of the bull pull bull flag, uh, you know, measure move or whatever. All right, this has been a good stream. Thank you all for coming out. I uh, really appreciate uh, the contributions, likes, love, support, everything. I appreciate the 
the quality requests, right? Quality requests are the best. Something like that. Right, where we have low risk, high reward opportunity areas, we have harmonics, we have divergence on significant time scales, preferably multiple time scales. Those are the ones you wanna request. We got three of them. Three potential uh, reversal area trade setups on stocks today. So I really appreciate those. Thank you for you know, learning something here or somewhere and then applying it to your chart liking what you see liking what you know i'm in your head right when you're scanning and you're like dang dude mitch would be freaking out right now those are the requests you want to you want to have right so thanks again i'll be back until next time respect the t a